an update on the log cabin cuckoo clock. I figured out how to design the logs to get the curve on the logs in V-carve, Vectric V-carve, and I cut it out on my CNC, and I'm real happy with that. I think it looks really good. Remember, they'll be chinking in those indentations, and it'll be stained, of course, to make it look kind of old. And this is it put together with the box that, um, that makes it a clock, and that's inside where the innards will go, the, the clock works. So that's ready for staining, yay. Now every log cabin has a porch and needs a rocking chair, right? Well, the problem is is that um, dollhouse chairs are too big. So I got on Google to look for a rocking chair so I could design my own, thank you Google. And I figured out that I could have it um, laser cut and I saw some laser cut dollhouse furniture that looked really nice once it's stained. Um, online. So I opened up Corel Draw and designed my own and now that is off to my laser guy for the first rendition. Everything always takes more than one. Now onto the Camper Retro RV clock. This is it from the back. That's where the clockworks go. The fins are what's going to hold the, it's like a veneer that goes over, that wraps around the top that ends up being the, the top and sides of the cuckoo clock or the front and back of the cuckoo clock. And here it is all um, put together and drying. And you can see the front that um, I used V-carve to get the right texture. That's where the dial goes. That's where the door and then the cuckoo door will go. A window goes there, a window goes there. It has cool things, even like um, tail lights and everything that will go on once it's finished. And this of course is where the clock works go.